Good morning, everybody, and thank you for joining me for another devotion this week. Today I want to read from 1 Timothy, and we're going to look at chapter 1, verse 3 to 6. This is uh, Paul writing to Timothy. As I urged you when I went into Macedonia, remain in Ephesus, that you may charge some that they teach no other doctrine, nor give heed to fables and endless genealogies, which cause disputes rather than godly edification, which is in faith, from which some, having strayed, have turned aside to idle talk. So what Paul is saying to Timothy is make sure that people are not looking at doctrine that is not sound or looking at things that are unimportant or taking what the word says and blowing it up into something fanatical and uh, fantastical and speculative. He's saying stick with sound doctrine. Don't give heed to fables and endless genealogies and all this other kind of stuff. Just this commandment that I'm telling you, it's from love and a good conscience and a sincere heart. That should be what motivates us and what drives us to pursue sound doctrine. And we're looking at this in one of my courses. And what, what struck me about this is that often in the body of believers, often in our fellowship, we get engaged in endless disputes <laughs> and we go on with discussions that come nowhere and we just argue about things that often, often it's not a case of doctrine. Sometimes maybe, and so, but sometimes it's not even fundamental. It's stuff that really doesn't matter. And then it's stuff that has nothing to do with the Bible at all. Like there's a new set of coffee mugs that only the women's ministry can use and the men aren't happy with this. And then there's a whole big dispute. And Paul is saying they've strayed away from sound doctrine. They've gone after these things and there's no godly edification. There's endless disputes and there's no godly edification. And he says to get that, what you need is love. The purpose of this commandment is love from a good conscience, from sincere faith. And so that's the point of my devotion this morning is sincere faith. When, when we have sincere faith as our guiding principle, these things are going to get worked out. Sincere faith is our mediating uh, uh, principle. It's the mediating force. Now, what I mean by that is if each one of us are sincere and intentional about pursuing God and intentional about being faithful to him and have an intentional desire to please him, then that's going to guide us. That's going to regulate us, especially when we want to uh, get tempted to get into endless arguments about things that don't matter. So what I mean is this. If, let's say, we want to argue about who can sit on what seats, Without a good conscience, without love, without sincere faith, we're going to go into that and try win that argument. We're going to try win that battle for those comfy chairs. However, if we are sincere in our faith and we're letting that guide us, let's say I've got this point of view and this person's got this point of view, and we are both guided by sincere faith, we're not going to dissolve into an endless dispute. We're going to work out this matter in a way that is faithful to God in a matter that is pleasing to God. Our interactions with one another will be pleasing to God. And that's because we have sincere faith. From sincere faith, we'll have a good conscience, knowing that we are acting in a manner that is pleasing and desirable to God and faithful to what he expects of us. And from that, we will operate in love. We will speak out of love. We'll present our case out of love. And we're not going to just dissolve into arguments and disputes and uh, endless genealogies and, and speculative theology. We are going to be guided by sincere faith and we're going to have good consciences in how we act and we're going to act out of love. And so that's all I want to say this morning is sincere faith. Let sincere faith be the guiding principle. Let sincere faith be the mediator in your lives, in your dealings with other people. Now, granted, we might have sincere faith and other people might not have sincere faith. Let your sincere faith be the mediator. They might want you to get involved in an endless dispute and argument, but if sincere faith is your mediator, let that prevent you from doing that. Even better, if both of you have sincere faith, 
then you can resolve this issue in a manner that is acceptable and pleasing and faithful to God. Let sincere faith be your guiding principle in whatever matters you're facing, whether it be big theological doctrinal issues or if it's got nothing to do with that and it's got to do with coffee mugs and comfy seats, whatever it is. Let sincere faith be your guiding principle and don't get caught up in endless disputes and arguments just trying to win things. Rather, stay faithful to God. Be intentional about being faithful to Him and doing what pleases Him. And that's a sincere faith. When we are intentional and sincere, not just using it to to win the argument, but really sincere, genuine, this proper, true desire to please Him and be faithful to Him. Amen. Let's pray. Father God, thank You for Your Word to us this morning. Thank You for reminding us that it's not about trying to win arguments. It's not about getting caught astray by um, our own interpretations and things that we want to have and winning battles. But we need to, in all that we do, aim for godly edification. We want to edify the church. We want to demonstrate your glory. We want to make your name known. And we can't do that if we get caught up in endless disputes and arguments. So I pray that you forgive us. Forgive us where we've uh, wanted to argue, we've wanted to win the battle. Things that don't even matter. And help us, I pray, to to pursue sincere faith that we'll operate out of a good conscience and out of love uh, from a sincere faith that is aiming to be faithful to you and pleasing to you. Forgive us too where we've looked to our own interests and help us just to again focus on what you require of us, what you desire, what you delight in, so that we might have a sincere faith and operate from the sincere faith to uh, the glory of your name that we will aim for godly edification, not human edification, our own arguments uh, edification, but godly edification will be our goal from sincere faith. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.